Today I am going to have a bit of a reset day, as they say on YouTube. <laughs> I'm going to um, do a lot of laundry, I'm going to tidy the house and I'm going to reset myself and have a shower. <laughs> um gonna start with resetting myself and then i'm gonna get a laundry on and then i'm gonna start tidying i also want to show you what how my mittens have been going they've been going really well i've almost finished the first one and my ian sweating my ian sweater is coming on well too um i'm hoping my starter my sardo starter is happier by the end of today um, as I said in the last vlog, Dara from Ursa Minor very kindly gave me some of his flour um, until my flour order comes from Matthew Cotswold. So I fed it with that once. It's been in the fridge probably for like over two weeks at this point. Didn't look particularly unhappy. So I fed it, put it under the covers of my bed with the hot water bottle. Um, it was actually in bed with us last night. <laughs> Um, and it, when I woke up, I had a few bubbles, but it wasn't like optimum. So I put it back in there. I need to refill the hot water bottle. Also want to wash the bed sheets and I'd love to go and get the tree today, the Christmas tree and decorate it. So hopefully the house will be transformed. I will be transformed and my sardo starter will be transformed. <laughs> Although my bed sheets are kind of fit to be burnt. So yeah. Rufus has taken to sneaking up there because the latch in our bedroom door is broken. So he can somehow manage to push the door open. Just jumps in the bed when we're not looking and um, lies there. So that those bed sheets are not in the best <laughs> of shapes. So yeah, just come along with me as I sort out this mess. <laughs> Stood hard as iron, water like a stone. This is what we're working with here. Not great. So basically, I need to do a a woolen wash. Um, so I need to split any woolens I have and go and wash them upstairs by hand, and then. Do a regular load or two and then do um do the bed sheets. So here we go. Heaven and earth shall flee away when he comes to me. In the bleak midwinter, a stable place suffice. It was all going so well until this happened. <laughs> show you my mittens. These are the Speedy Salbu mitts by Skin Deer Knits. 
Don't they look good? So, yeah, pattern by Ellie of Skin Deer. I'm doing the left hand and the yarn is um, used wool. It's a little mitten kit currently in my shop. I'm holding each strand double to make it like an iron weight. And I literally knitted these in a couple of nights. So I'm really pleased about that. Here's Rufus, come here. Come here. You okay? <laughs> you going to say hello to all your fans? So these are looking really good. <laughs> and I'm going to definitely finish probably one tonight. I might tonight play in badminton. But these only took like two or three nights. So I think another week and a half and I'll have a pair of mittens. I also need to knit a pair for my little girl. Um, and I need to knit a pair of socks for my niece because I've been promising for ages. <laughs> so I need to do that, but it's so cold outside. So I really need to get myself a pair of warm mittens. Um, um, I can't stop trying them on. They feel so nice. Um, see the beautiful details? So nice. Very, very pleased with these and I love colour work. <laughs> I'm keeping them in a little basket that I find in a little um, kind of charity shop, thrift shop in France when I was there. It's, I think it's a bread basket. Joy to the world, the Lord is come, let earth receive. I've refreshed myself, there's Rufus at the door. Um, and I stripped the bed, as you will have seen. I put my starter in the hot press, which is a new thing, but I was putting some tiles in there and I just thought, oh, that's nice and a little bit warm. The heating was on for two hours this morning, so there's Rufus. So I put it in there in the hopes that it'll gather a bit of happiness. Um, I checked on it about 45 minutes after I put it in and there was definitely some bubbles so I'm very pleased about that. Now what I think I'm going to do is either wash my woolens, I'm going to wash my woolens, tidy the back living room um, in preparation for the Christmas tree. It's not too bad, it won't take long. Um, so yes, round two, here we go. You're probably seeing a lot of angles of my house you've never seen before, but next I'm going to tidy this area up. to take a little trip out to the supermarket to get a few items. Um, I'm going to be making the lunch now, a nice mushroom soup. I made it last week 
it was really nice. I will put the link to it in the description. Um, Dara from Ursa Minor had recommended that I get some other thing to feed my starter with, something a little, yeah, something with whole moon, something with more good stuff in it. He says it'll help my starter. So I got some Dove's Farm Spilt Organic Wholemeal Flour. So next time I feed my starter, I will put some of this in. And I'll also put some of this into my bread. I don't know what how it'll change the bread, but um, I'm ready to start experimenting a bit, I think. It's one o'clock. We've just had our nice sip and now I'm making up some granola. This is something I do every, ah, I would say a couple of weeks. I usually do it to use up random bits of nuts in the cupboard or random seeds or random bits of raisins or whatever. But this time I didn't have that many random things and we just like sniping on it with some kefir or something like that. It's really tasty. I don't have a recipe, I just put in oats, any random nuts, maybe some raisins, any, there's any dried fruit like cranberries or things like that. Some maple syrup, some honey and a little touch of olive oil. And then I bake it in the oven for about five to 10 minutes. But the angel said to them, do not be afraid for behold, I bring you good news of great joy will be for all of the people. For today in the city of David, there has been born for you a saviour, who is Christ the Lord. some dishes now. At this point I don't know if I will ha actually have time to go and get the Christmas tree today. Um, to be honest with you I probably haven't done any. I still have two loads of laundry to do. The rest of the house still needs kind of tidied. This sink, oh my goodness, it really needs. <laughs> it needs a reset. Um, to be honest with you I would need to be at this a day a week just to keep everything under control but I mean, I say that one day a week, toddler free. <laughs> um, because I've let the laundries um, pile up for about probably like a week and a half, maybe more. Um, so that's not for it. But I've just been really busy. I've also got orders to pack today. So I'm going to do that next and take them to the sorting office, oops, sorry, and then I, if I get that all done we will see where we are at. Thank you. 
This person has bought a Christmas Swells and Ship Bells mini skein set. I'm gonna turn the light off so you can see it properly. That's more of the colour there. Festive without being overly festive. No. His dwelling, sire, he lives a good league hence underneath the mountain, right against the forest fence by St. Agnes Fountain. So it's four o'clock and um, I'm going well here. I'm still going. I could easily do this for another day, but I think I've made a good progress today. There's still laundries to do. There's still laundries to fold. I didn't do a toy rotation, but I might take another day and do another reset day because it's feeling really good. So thanks for watching today's vlog and I will see you in the next one. Bye.